Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles Asking on TV and Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review a cool product. This is the Red Copper 5 Minute Chef Electric Meal Maker. You can make omelets, hash browns, burgers, sliders, vegetables, fun desserts. And yeah, Kathy Mitchell. If you don't know Kathy Mitchell, you should know Kathy Mitchell. I might do some Kathy Mitchell uh, recipes here pretty soon. But it's the number one selling, best-selling dump cookbook series author, over 4 million sold, Kathy Mitchell. Uh, she can sell, let me tell you. But uh, yeah, this thing, surprisingly, retail price, you can buy it online for $59.99, which is crazy. Uh, 4.7 out of 5 stars, 106 ratings here. Just add your favorite ingredients and plug in the plug. Finish cooking in five minutes to make your meal fast and enjoyable. Makes fluffy omelets, fr frittatas, pa pan paninas, pizza pocket, crispy skin salmon, and more. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner can be, be table ready or quick to go in minutes. And so, yeah, you can find it on Amazon, $59.99, 4.7 out of 5 stars. And this thing is $59.99 retail price. How's it going, Bill? Glad you could join the review of something that I have never reviewed before. And some, uh, I guess in a previous video, I was like, the reason I don't like these things is because they use this nonstick coating that eventually comes off, you know, the dash uh, electric griddle. This one is actually ceramic, so it could solve that issue. Um, they kind of switched over to this red copper brand. There's a lot of products that claim to be copper. I don't know. It's kind of a, I guess it's ceramic. From the makers of Red Copper Cookware comes Red Copper 5-Minute Chef. Now you can make delicious home-cooked meals in minutes. Just fill, close, and cook. Make breakfast, lunch, or dinner snacks fast and easy. Dual coating surface, non-stick surface, quick lock, wipes clean. All right, so enough. Yeah, so there you go. Copper-infused ceramic. All right, so let's open up. Hey, Frank, how's it going? All right, let's open this up, see what this $60 kitchen gadget looks like, and do you need it or not? The unboxing. I do like, okay, there we go. I like I like products that are gonna have uh, the branding going on here. So this is Red Copper 5-Minute Chef. You have your little uh, um, green light, red light there. Open it up. Let's see what the and this is the lock right here. Oh, it's it's taped. I don't know. It'll be one of those products. Half the review is me opening it, trying to get it open. I have seen her advertise those. Yeah, she advertises a lot. Kathy Mitchell is one of the best. I would say salespeople on the planet right now. I don't know, she may, or at least she was a few years ago. I don't know, I haven't really seen anything from her now, but she's, uh, she has like the dump dinners, you know, like she has like a bunch of cookbooks. Uh, so I've reviewed those cookbooks before. I, I was thinking about doing live uh, cooking for, from the dump dinner cookbook. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, the long drawn out version. This one's gonna be long and drawn out. So if you don't like long and drawn out versions of my reviews, definitely check out the edited uh, reviews. All right, so this is an As Seen on TV product. This is the number one best selling author, Kathy Mitchell. Look at Kathy Mitchell right there. So you have the free red copper chef knife with any purchase at bulbhead.com. Check that out. She's no Paula Dean. <laughs> That's true. You can get a ring. You can get a ring. That's great. You can also read safety warnings. Should I read this entire... Like, I'll spend maybe an hour reading this. That would be entertainment. So you can read the safety warnings if you want. Check them out. But it also has a little booklet, and I'm sure in the commercial they said this was a, 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 a recipe booklet. A lot of times they'll say it's like a recipe book or something, and it'll just be kind of a flimsy little card, you know? So you have your eggs, you have your omelets, you have your corn dog. Look at the, that corn dog. I mean, that looks delicious right there. All right, so you have the express pie, stuffed lava cake. 
Where is my free knife? I don't know. I got to send in for it. I bet it's it'll be doubled and they'll have to pay like $8,000 in ship free shipping. Oh yeah, there you go. So free shipping on orders of $50 plus. So I have to order $50 of products to get my free uh free knife and free we're going to use the quote fingers there. All right, so I'm going to wash this out, but you can check out the ceramic cooking right there. Or the ceramic, uh, you know, it's not your traditional black, you know, uh, non-stick coating. It's this new copper, supposedly ceramic, copper-infused ceramic. All right, so here we go. I'm going to wash it. So that is... Hold on. And once again, these plates don't come out, so it's very difficult to wash it out because you get all this water everywhere, and then you're a little bit concerned about plugging it in, at least I am. But I've been doing reviews long enough that people get very concerned, and I get concerned too, uh, when I don't wash out the products before I review them. But a lot of people will comment on that. And one of the things about these these uh, these sorts of products is the plates don't come out. So it's hard to wash them, especially if the stuff gets stuck on the plates. They do have, looks like they have screws. You could definitely take it apart if you wanted to and clean it. But, uh, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of convenience. All right. Here we go, plugging it in. I'm gonna heat it up, hopefully it doesn't explode. The light is on, so that's a good sign, it's working. All right. So, I think first, I'm gonna do a little omelet. I think that'll be a good test, then I might do a pizza, or you know, a quick pizza. Uh, but I think an omelet will just be a nice little, little test here. Why not make breakfast? Once again, if you're just joining me, let me move that so you can see it. It's a red copper called the Five Minute Chef, the retail price online is like 60 bucks you could probably find it cheaper on ebay or you know if you can find it locally uh it seems a little bit high for what you're getting you know like the price all right so i'm going to cut up some ham i want to make this into the best omelet ever created in the history of facebook live All right, so I'm gonna put some ham in this thing. And then I'm gonna put some cheese. I'm just gonna add it directly. All right, let's see what else we can get. Um, I'm gonna add some of this Texas seasoning from McCormick. Um, probably not a good idea. I don't want just an average omelet. All right, I'm gonna mix this up. All right, let's see if it's still heating. The light is still on, so I might just bypass that and uh, you know just start cooking. But the light is still on, and usually you want to wait till it turns green. But maybe I'll close it just in a little bit. But I'm feeling the outside, it's warm, but not super hot, which is good. That's a good sign. All 
二。Okay, I think it's, I see it, I hear it sizzling. I think it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna mix it oh, just a little bit more and uh, put this in the uh, like red copper. Here we go, three, two, one. I didn't add any oil, nothing whatsoever. I always recommend, and I've heard, seen other reviewers comment and say, you know, spray it down with some, you know, some oil spray or whatever. Uh, and that really helps. But look at that. You can hear that sizzle, wow. All right, I'm gonna lock it. And hopefully I'll have an omelet. Let's let's set the timer for three minutes. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three, starting now. Okay. I don't think you need anything with that copper. Yeah, um, that's what the, the claims are. So this thing says weighing 21 pounds. The omelet maker is, I don't think it's, just, I don't know if it's 21 pounds, I don't think so. The omelet maker is portable and must have for the first apartment, smaller kitchen, college dorm life, or camper RV traveling. The dual nonstick plates may clean up a snap. Red copper, five minute, chef cooks your food from top and bottom for speedy cooking and it's small enough for virtually any kitchen counter easily easy to clean and non-stick surface simply wipe the copper infused plates ceramic plates with soapy water and watch the mess slide off the non-stick surface yeah clean as i go exactly that's the way to that's the way to cook in my opinion So, once again, this is the Kathy Mitchell endorsed, as seen on TV, Red Copper 5-Minute Chef Electric Meal Maker by all sorts of brands. Bulbhead.com, you have your uh, Inter Intertech, um, there's another brand, uh, what's the other brand? I think it's Telebrands, yeah, Telebrands, you got your Telebrands. Got your Kathy Mitchell, Telebrands, as seen on TV, bulb head, everything, red copper. Uh, yeah, Peggy, you can make a lot of things. Like the sky's the limit. Let me. They have a little booklet, so let me just show the viewers what you have here while this is cooking. You have your eggs. You have an omelet recipe. You have hash browns. You have big bacon pancake, corn dog. Five minute express pizza, stuffed chicken, asparagus and beef roll ups, express pie, stuffed lava cake. So, one of the things I've noticed from, you know, Kathy Mitchell has this dump dinner cookbook. Um, yeah, Katie can cook eggs on the gas stove. I, I agree. There's this, I think eggs would be the last thing to cook in this thing. In this thing. I think things like pizza, you know, personal. Personal pan pizza, something like that, where you normally cook it in an oven. Alexa, off. But once again, everything, you know, just lately, I've been saying this, everything, uh, I feel like just an air fryer would do better, you know? I just feel like air fryer has solved, like, almost every countertop appliance issue. Because even a personal pizza, I think, would... All right, so it's not even cooked yet. I mean, yeah, a stovetop would uh, a stovetop would uh, cook faster than that for sure. I mean, this is for an omelet. This is slow. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. All right, let me get the. Uh, actually, hold on. Stand by. 
Stand by. Alexa, set timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. Okay, so in preparation for this review, I got some uh, dough that I can make different things out of. I'm going to make kind of a pizza cheese thing. Let's see. I can never get these things open. What is the secret? They, the paper just always comes off. All right, there we go. You just put your finger in there. All right, so this will be good, good dough for making random things. Maybe some like cheese biscuits or something or a kind of pizza. I have some pizza dough, so maybe I'll do a, a biscuit and a dough. I found a Paula Deen air fryer. I'm going to get in Savannah Blue. Yeah, uh, let me know how it turns out, but air fryers are great. I think eggs, like stove, nothing beats the stove top, get, you know, like a gas stove top. Because this is slow. This is like glacial, glacial slow. All right, let's open it up. Okay, there we go, there we go. So I do like that it makes a nice perfect shape. Uh, I'm gonna do something that I shouldn't do. I'm gonna use a, a knife just to kind of get around the edges and then I'll get a spatula. Actually, I don't know, look at that. It's not sticking at all. Look at how, like I don't know if you see the texture, but just look at how, you can just see it. Look at, look at that, just how like fluffy it is. You see that? All right, so let's, Alexa off. Let's cut this in half. So check that out. You can see the texture, you know, little air bubbles and stuff. It, it looks really light and fluffy. So I do like the way it cooked. All right, but how does it taste? All right, so get some ham and check that out. So here we go, three, two, one. Right now, it's really good. The eggs are light and fluffy. I'm getting that ham come through, you know, coming through. Have a little bit of cheese in there. Some of that seasoning. It did a really good job. And I guess the best part is absolutely no sticking on this thing at all. I didn't use any oil. There's zero sticking and made this nice little omelet. Yeah, I have hot sauce for sure. Um, all right, so let's try out a little biscuit here. Let's try out two things. Actually, let's put the biscuit on there. Um, and I, have some, I made some pizza dough in a previous review. So I'm going to just try kind of a pizza dough. And I'm just going to kind of like... For the biscuit, I'm just gonna put like some cheese on it. And the pizza, just think that's that's uh, pizza sauce. I'll put some cheese on here. And I'll put some cheese on the biscuit. All right, that shouldn't be too much. Let's see what else we can get. I'm just gonna put that down. All right, let's see what else we can get. I'm just kind of seeing what I could uh, cook.
Yeah, I hope so. Bill says that's going to be good. I hope so. <laughs> Four stars. I, I hope those are Michelin stars. I'm about to open up a restaurant. <laughs> no, that's fine. Bill says uh, he's sorry about because there, there's Facebook stars. My goal this month is 20,000. 18% of the way there. No, I'm not really, no. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. I'm going to eat some of this omelet. Some sriracha. Save it for tomorrow. All right. Oh, I missed some of the, let me see, I'm scrolling. <laughs> Sandry. Uh, no, I was just joking about the restaurant. I I think it was just a uh, commenter saying, uh, giving me stars. So I was just making a comment. But if I did open a restaurant, it'd be uh, all the recipes would be on this channel. <laughs> Why? Uh, because. In, in the world of reviews and Facebook Live, a lot of things are done on the fly and, and for purposes of speed. So that's the reason. I didn't want to put it on the countertop. I thought this would be better. But I guess you're right. Like this was in the store. You have no idea where this was been, where that had been. So um, that's true. All right, so I'm gonna open it up just to see where we're at here. All right, look at that, that's pretty good, it's pretty good. Look at how the, the pizza crust rose already. There was some uh, uh, yeast in there, so maybe that's the result of rising the yeast. And then the, the, the uh, biscuit actually rose. Let me lock it in place, just so we can get that seal. But yeah, as we're waiting, I'm gonna put this right here. Now we have a good place for the biscuit dough. Chuck's here for the comments. There's a, yeah, I like, see, I like the interaction. Like if I do an edited video, there's not many comments, I mean, there's comments, but not nearly as many. So I really do like the interaction on the Facebook Live because it does increase the comments for sure. All right, Alexa off. I'm just going to open it up one more time. All right, so you can see a little bit of um, golden brown right there. I'm going to put it in just like another minute. Alexa, set timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. I have a feeling it might be raw, but I don't know. It's actually cooking faster than I thought. But once again, I'm telling you, um, so yeah, on Amazon, this retails for $59.99, but you can buy it, you can find it on eBay. I'm sure there's other sites 
or if you can find it locally, maybe you can find it. I think it's a little bit expensive, but, uh, but yeah, once again, so like these biscuits, you could put them on, uh, you could use your air fryer, I'm sure. So I just think like air fryer, it's one of my favorite products. That's why I keep talking about it because it's one of those products that you can use for so many different things and it cooks it better than almost, it cooks it better and faster than many kitchen appliances, you know, like, I mean, obviously you could use your oven for a lot of things, but you do have to preheat your oven. That takes quite a while. And air fryers are instant, but you get a same result, and it's like kind of a convection thing. There's kind of there's there's air going everywhere, so you get uh, crispiness on all sides. Alexa off. All right, so let's open it up. See what's inside. Here we go. Hopefully. All right, so. Let's check the bottom. Oh, look at that. I like that. I like when I see that. Look at that. Golden brown crust on the bottom. And look, I mean, it's like, I, I wouldn't cook this anymore. Look at that. So you have the top and bottom crispy. All right, so let's check out the pizza. For the most part, I'd say it, it cooked. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh, Trista, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, five minutes to preheat oven. So yeah, I would say it's cooked Pretty, you know, all the way through, there's a little bit of crispiness. I mean, you can see it on the bottom here. I mean, it's good. Yeah, I mean, the pizza, really simple. All right, so the biscuit, and this is four minutes. So look at that. It cooked all the way through. Maybe a little bit less time on this little biscuit but you have the cheese on top, cooked all the way through. But here we go, let me give it a taste test. Three, two, one. And yeah, that's really good, that's really good. I mean, nice fluffy biscuit. Um, yeah, I really like that crunch, like it, that like gives it texture. That's good. So, I don't always, when I've reviewed something, I don't always use it all the time. Sometimes, sometimes I resell things. Sometimes I give things away. Sometimes I throw things away. Um, but this is one of those things I may keep, I think I'm going to keep using this actually. This might be a regular on my countertop and because just for the fact that I can cook so many things so quickly, don't have to preheat an oven. And since, like I said, if you've been watching this, my air fryer broke, it fell off the countertop. So I don't have one right now, but I use it all the time. Oh, thank you. Uh, Rebecca, 50 stars. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so I use that my air fryer all the time. It fell off the counter, it broke. So the fact that I don't have an air fryer right now, I could see using this as a replacement for certain things. Like I, I could see trying out different things, like uh, <laughs> some fish sticks in the freezer. So I could see like putting some fish sticks in here. I mean, different things like that. I mean, I don't know, but yeah, like the biscuits, doing little mini pizzas, more omelets. But look at this. I mean, it did a really good job in such a quick amount of time. And he had this like little mini pizza and he had the omelet and everything cooked great. Uh, the retail price is expensive. So in my opinion, it's like $59.99. That's online. Uh, shop around. You probably can get it lower than that. If you can find it locally, I'm sure you can get it even lower. Um, but I'm sure there's many different versions of a product like this, I would say this is ceramic. So you can, if you can find something that's a ceramic non-stick, 
that would probably be the best because the old, the black nonstick coating, the, I would say like the old school stuff eventually comes off and it's not, I mean, if you re look around at the articles, it's not good for you. It's not, it's not supposed to be good for you. Ceramic's supposed to be better. I mean, obviously who knows, time will tell, but uh, from what I've seen right here, this is working better than new of that, like the black nonstick coating, the ceramic stuff right here. I mean, there's zero sticking at all. And that was, there was an almond in here, the pizza crust, the biscuit. So yeah, great for warming leftovers. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So kind of a fun product. Um, yeah, and it's endorsed by Kathy Mitchell. Everybody likes Kathy Mitchell. It's a red copper five minute chef. And yeah, so there you go. That's probably, uh, <laughs> I think this, the one test would be searing a steak. I don't I have no idea if it's gonna do that, but that could be a test. But uh, yeah, I think I'm about done here, but I think it, for my, uh, I think it did a good job and I would recommend it. I just think it's a little bit on the expensive side, so. If you can find something, uh, I would probably get an air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, I would get an air fryer before you get this. But it, it could be something for that could be fun to try out for a lot of people out there. Yeah, pork chops. There you go. All right. Rebecca, see you later. Bill, and thank you for the stars. Really appreciate it. Uh, Till next time, I'll see you later.